Okay, here we go. Um, here it is, February. We are going to do the viewer request bat rep. Um, thanks to everybody who voted. Um, the winners were Necrons and Dark Eldar. Um, here's just a quick overview of the board. We're playing a um, Dawn of War capture and control game. Um, Necrons lost, but Dark Eldar are going to go second. Um, they deployed on this half of the board. And their objective is right there. Dark Elder objective right here. And I'm keeping everything off the board until first turn. Um, as far as our army goes, I've got a 10-man uh, bike unit, two Ravagers, uh, eight-man Incubi unit with Homunculus and Archon, nine-man Witch unit um, with a Homunculus. Both those are in Raiders. Uh, three carbon copy warrior squads with a splinter cannon and a blaster and raiders. Uh, that's a stand-in Talos paint engine. And then I've got two units of uh, Cobblet Trueborn with blasters and a splinter cannon and venoms. So uh, that's it. We'll be back with the Necrons and their deployment. All right, Necron deployment. We have a squad here, a 10-man squad of Immortals with uh, Tesla Carbines. Uh, we also have 10 death marks, a squad of three heavy destroyers, uh, another squad of destroyers, but here we have three heavies with two regular destroyers. Uh, we have two, well, we have a squad here of 10 immortals with uh, Vanguard Oberion, something like that. We have a Cryptek with 10 more. Immortals, and that's the Cryptic of Despair. And last but not, oh, we have uh, five Scarabs, six um, um, Lich Guard with the Stormlord, and down there we have the Monolith and two Doomsday Arcs. And that's uh, Necrons 2500. We'll be back with uh, turn one. All yeah. right, we're here with uh, Necron turn one. Um, a lot of movement. Everything moved up. All of these guys moved, uh, came in from the table edge. The only thing that was held in reserves was the monolith and the death marks here. Uh, everything that could run also ran. And uh, that's uh, Necron turn one. We'll be back with uh, Dark Elder turn one. Here we go, Dark Eldar turn one. Um, everything came in. Uh, Talos came in and ran two inches. Um, both of my Venoms and all three of my Raiders uh, with Cobblelight Warriors just moved in 12 um, to take some shots. Uh, the Incubi and the Witches um, went flat out. Um, the two Ravagers came in 12 inches. And my uh, Reavers moved in uh, flat out. Um, and thanks to their Reaver jet bike rule, they can go 36, if you're thinking that looks ridiculously far, because it is. Um, over your shooting phase, uh, night fighting rules, both because of the Stormlord and because of uh, Dawn of War, meant I needed 36 inches on uh, my Ravagers to see his uh, destroyers, and I rolled double sixes to get it. So it was uh, pretty sweet, uh, thanks largely to... Um, uh, night vision because of the dark Eldar. Uh, so one of them saw and uh, wounded twice and uh, will be back made one of them stand back up at the end. Uh, the other one didn't get range. Uh, these went flat out. These all took some shots. Um, all of these together uh, took shots at the immortals, knocked them down to one wound but I or to one model. But I, uh, I just couldn't get the last guy to fall down to take out the unit. So they, uh, 
They were able to make their rugby backs, and four of them stood back up. So they're at five, but that was it uh, for our turn. We'll be back with Necron turn number two. All right, Necron turn two. Actually, a lot better than I've what I expected. Uh, the person that did the most here would be the Stormlord because of his lightning on turn one, or on, on the beginning of the shooting phase. We knocked down um, that raider there and the raider there with the witches. Um, in the movement phase, though, uh, these death marks came in. Uh, actually hit. They landed where I wanted them to. And um, did a veil of darkness with the cryptect over there. Moved six, actually scattered off six inches, but uh, it wasn't bad there. Everything else uh, moved over. Those destroyers moved over. And the immortals with, uh, with the uh, vanguard, uh, vanguard there moved up. Stormlord with the Lich Guard moved up, and the Scarabs moved up. Um, shooting phase, uh, very disappointing though with the with everything else. Uh, destroyers there couldn't see. Uh, Doomsday Arc there couldn't see. This Doomsday Arc here couldn't see. And uh, these destroyers here did hit the... Uh, Raider there, uh, three, two glances, one pen. He saved the, the pen and the glance. Uh, one glance got through, but uh, just rolled a one for armor penetrate or for uh, result. Uh, the immortals in there shot out the witches, rolled a lot of ones and twos, so only two shots, uh, only wounded two. And he rolled his, uh, he failed his uh, cover and he failed his feel no pain. So that wasn't that bad. These death marks here did a lot. They he took down. They took down a lot of these uh, six. jet bikes here. They took down six of them. But, uh, and then these uh, immortals here shot at that and really didn't do anything. They took down a a weapon and they can't shoot next turn. It's uh, shaken. So uh, there's uh, Necron turn two. We'll be back with Dark Eldar turn two. Okay, here we go. Dark Eldar turn two, and it was uh, actually a really good one. Um, let's see, movement phase. My witches uh, moved from their wreck and ran into cover. Uh, my incubi uh, jumped over this uh, in their raider and then disembarked and ran forward. Um, my two venoms moved up. This one rolled. It's difficult terrain. Didn't do anything. Um, Talos pain engine moved and ran. My Cobblelite Warriors ran in here to get into cover. Um, my f I went flat out with that Ravager that can't shoot. And this uh, other Ravager moved up 12. Those two Raiders with the Cobblelite Warriors moved over to get closer to the uh, Immortals. And I went uh, turbo boosted over the Death Marks with those um, Reavers. And um, with Blade Veins, I did nothing. I managed to do one wound and he... Um, uh, got back up. Um, and then also, then in the shooting phase, we knocked with the help of both of these raiders and the Kabbalite warriors, knocked down the immortals to uh, two immortals and the cryptech. Um, and they are running and will not rally thanks to uh, 50%. Um, these Kabbalite warriors took down the remaining immortals over here. And then between these two Venoms, we knocked down those uh, heavy destroyers right there. Um, and then in the assault phase, the Incubi moved in um, to the destroyers and um, ironically destroyed them. Um, and then they consolidated one inch. So they're uh, just sitting there waiting for somebody to come at them, but... Um, that was it for our turn. We will be back with Necron's turn three. All right, Necron turn three. Uh, a lot of stuff happened here. Started them with the uh, reserve rolls. Monolith came in, scattered about six, excuse me, six inches into there. I didn't fall on that little trap there, so I'm not immobile, or I didn't have to roll anything. Uh, movement phase uh, fell back seven inches with those guys there. 
uh, these guys here moved uh, over to get closer to the uh, jet bikes. And everything over here just kind of moved over here to face off with the witches and the incubi. Uh, the scarab swarm here moved into uh, cover and this stayed put. Um, shooting phase. Moloth over there shot a lot, didn't do anything. Those two immortals over there that fell back shot and didn't do anything. The uh, death marks there took out the rest of those jet bikes. Uh, here, we uh, these immortals here shot at these witches and took out three of them. And uh, what else? What else? Like Doomsday Ark here oh, shot, shot and off. scattered off into nowhere. And actually, Monolith over there shot the particle whip. It landed on there. It scattered two inches, but still stayed in the hole. So, uh, penetrating hit. He didn't save it with his uh, his overpowered uh, immol save there. And uh, immobilized it. Uh, so, that's that was the shooting phase there. In the um, assault phase, I assaulted in there. Uh, lost four guys. Immotech took two wounds, uh, caused uh, four wounds back, lost by, uh, lost combat by two. So, um, stuck around. Two well, actually, came yep, back. passed my leadership test. Two guys came back and were stuck in combat. The uh, Halunculi has one wound less. Uh, Stormlord has one wound left. And the Archon, I think, has two wounds left. He failed a uh, two plus Imwall save yeah. with a one. So that was actually kind of big. First time I've ever seen that. And we'll be back with uh, Dark Eldar turn three.